Hi, I'm Brian Amrine with Value Driven Analytics, and today we're going to answer a very important question. Will ChatGPT ever tell you that something is maybe not the best idea? Now, if you're looking for a video that will take your career to the next level, we've got a ton of videos on SQL, Power BI, Python, leadership, and so many other topics. So please consider subscribing. But this video is probably not that video. This video is more for entertainment, but I'm not going to be providing the entertainment. We're going to have ChatGPT entertain us as we go on a journey to figure out if ChatGPT will ever tell us that something is a bad idea. Now, I've been using ChatGPT for quite some time now, and what I've noticed is for just about every question I ask, the response from ChatGPT will usually start with, what a great idea, and it doesn't just stop there. Uh, it'll tell me why it's a good idea. It's, it's like the panelist who always says, good question, great question. I mean, ChatGPT can be a huge confidence booster, but it makes me wonder if there's ever a question where it will just flat out tell you, well, maybe you should reconsider. So that's what we're gonna find out today. Let's head over to ChatGPT. All right, here we are in ChatGPT. And the first thing I'm going to do on our journey today is just show you the concept. So this isn't necessarily a bad idea at all, but I want to show you how ChatGPT will almost always affirm your decision. So let's start and say I want to uh, considering planting some daisies in the front lawn. Uh, what kind of seed should I use? Let's just ask that question, see what it comes up with. Planting daisies in your front lawn can be a delightful way to add color and charm. <laughs> and then it goes on and tells us a little bit more information. All right, so here's the thing. If I ask this question of any other plant variety, I think it'll also affirm that decision. So if I'm reading this and I, and I was kind of set on daisies, I look at this and I say, well, delightful way to add color and charm. You know, I was feeling pretty good about planting daisies before I asked this question, but now I'm pretty sure that that is absolutely the right thing to do based on this response. Well, what if I ask another question? What if I say, uh, I'm considering planting some lilies in the front lawn. What kind of seed? should I use? Let's go to the bottom here. Planting lilies in your front lawn can create a beautiful and striking display. Wow. If I wasn't convinced of the lilies before, now I'm feeling very good about it. <laughs> so you get the idea. I could probably put just about any flower variety here and I'm probably going to get an affirming response. Now, maybe that's not a bad thing. There's not necessarily a right or wrong decision when it comes to flowers, but you get the idea. And it makes you wonder, is there ever going to be a question I ask where ChatGP just tells me flat out, you know, that might not be the best idea. You might want to reconsider that or maybe even uh, a, a more direct tone than that. So now let's try giving ChatGPT a scenario that might not be the best idea. Let's say uh, I need to write a thousand thank you notes and want to use a typewriter, what model would you recommend? Using a typewriter for thank you notes, a thousand thank you notes, that's a bit much. Let's see what it says. Writing thousand thank you notes on a typewriter is quite an undertaking. Okay, that, that is true. <laughs> the choice of typewriter largely depends on your preference for modern or vintage models, the comfort of use, and availability of supply. So it's going to town telling me which typewriter I need to use. You know, I don't know. I, if you're asking a friend this question, I would kind of expect them to say, well, you, you could do that on a typewriter. Maybe you just like using typewriters, but a computer might be a quicker option, more user-friendly option. And so far, I haven't really seen that mentioned here. Let's see here. It's still typing. Uh, for a task like writing a thousand notes, 
You might prefer an electric or electronic typewriter due to the reduced manual effort required for each keystroke. Um, okay, ergonomics, buying a vintage typewriter, awesome restoration. I'm not seeing anything about doing this on a computer. So in this case, it's, it's not really providing much pushback. Maybe we just need to give it a worse idea. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, let's say I've been wanting a sports car for a while now and looking for a good opportunity to finally buy it. <laughs> My wife's birthday is coming up. And I think this could be the perfect opportunity to buy that sports car for her for her birthday so we can both drive it, right? <laughs> That's a good idea, right? <laughs> uh, what, what model should I purchase? Okay, let's see what it says here. Are we finally going to get some pushback? Buying a sports car as a birthday gift for your wife with the intention that both of you can enjoy it is an exciting idea. Oh, let me stop reading there. That's all I needed to know. I think I'll go over the dealership. <laughs> the best model to purchase will depend on various factors such as your budget, the desired brand. Oh boy, and then it's given us all kinds of options. The Mazda MX-5. Toyota 86, all kinds of things there. Maybe even the Lamborghini. Wow, that's exactly what I need to buy my wife for, for her birthday. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Here at the end, it's also important to consider your wife's preferences in a car. Oh, well, okay, I guess I should consider that. Does she prefer a more comfortable or luxurious ride? Uh, high performance and speed? Oh, here's something. Okay. It's, I, I hope I read the whole thing here. I hope I didn't just stop at the first line. <laughs> Additionally, it might be a good idea to involve her in the decision-making process, ensuring that the car meets her expectations and preferences as well. Hmm. Well, I guess so, but then it won't be as much of a surprise. <laughs> Finally, a test drive is crucial before making a decision. Okay. It's the best way to get a feel for the car and See if it suits both your needs and driving styles. Okay, so it did provide some helpful hints, uh, like maybe making sure that it's something that my wife would actually want and not just me, uh, maybe involving her in the decision process. All good things, but I have to be honest with you. If you're talking with a friend here, they, they should just tell you flat out, that is a terrible idea. In fact, yes, it's probably better to get her involved in the decision-making process because then she can tell you immediately wow, that's not a good idea. Let's not go down that road, road versus, um, versus just surprising her. But to be honest, I mean, think about it. If, if someone comes to you and asks you, hey, I, I was thinking about buying this gift for you that I actually want. Uh, what do you think? Let's go shopping for a car together for, for your birthday, uh, for this car that I really want. That You just shouldn't even have that conversation. So now, I don't know if I should expect a, a machine to be able to give relationship advice like that, but still, I would expect a much bolder pushback from ChatGPT in this instance. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's go to maybe the professional side of things. We talked about personal relationships here. Let's see if it gives us some good professional advice. I'm thinking about sending a different cat video to all my LinkedIn contacts each day. Reasonable thing, right? <laughs> uh, would it be better to send one of an orange cat or a black cat? Which one would be better? Let's see what ChatGPT thinks. Sending cat videos to your LinkedIn contacts is a unique idea. Well, thank you. I thought so too. I hadn't seen that done yet. <laughs> so if I stopped right here, I'm, I might feel very validated at this point. Oh, but there, there, is, there is another caveat to it. But it's important to consider the nature and purpose of LinkedIn as a professional network platform. 
While sharing lighthearted content can occasionally be a good way to engage with your network, there are a few key points to consider. Okay, it wants us to think about professional context, relevancy and frequency, variety of content, consent and preferences. All right, let's take a look at the summary here. In summary, while sharing a cat video once in a while could be a delightful surprise for some contacts, it's essential to maintain a professional demeanor on LinkedIn. You should consider other platforms that are more suited for casual and personal contact, content sharing. If you do proceed, ensure that it's done in a thoughtful and professional manner, keeping in mind the preference of your contacts. Well, now we're getting some a little bit of pushback there, some polite pushback. We finally got ChatGPT to find a scenario where it actually told us you might want to reconsider that. All right, let's do one more scenario. Let's say, uh, pretty bad idea here. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about cashing out my 401k, uh, burying the money in the backyard and seeing if it grows into a money tree with interest. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> uh, what spot should I choose? Sunny or shady? <laughs> Let's see if it focuses on the sunny or shady spot or uh, if it just tells us that's a bad idea. It sounds like you're sharing a whimsical idea about growing a money tree. In reality, of course, money won't grow into a tree. And cashing out a 401k to bury the money would not be a financially prudent decision. All right, so that's that's pretty direct. I think uh, I think ChatGPT has pretty much told us no on this one. We finally got it to tell us no. <laughs> well, I guess we got our answer. In some cases, you need to be careful. You might be asking it to get some assistance with something that really isn't a good idea, and it won't always tell you that it's a bad idea but in some cases it will. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe got a few laughs out of it. I certainly did. Again, none of the things that we've talked about today are really things that I would recommend. Maybe outside of planting some flowers, that can be a nice touch, as ChatGPT affirmed to us. Uh, ChatGPT can be a great way to get a confidence boost. They usually start out their response with a great idea, but you need to be careful because sometimes, sometimes those ideas aren't always the best. Uh, so take it with a grain of salt. Occasionally, ChatGPT will uh, share some truth with you and tell you that might not, you might want to reconsider that, uh, as we saw in the last two cases here. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, we've got a few comedy videos, but of course, also ways to develop your analytics career. Again, SQL. Python, Power BI, data science concepts, leadership concepts, and so many others. Please consider subscribing. Uh, if you enjoyed this, got a kick out of it, feel free to leave a comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.